welcome back to my channel. My name is Khadija. I am a doula and soon to be childbirth educator. I'm also currently nine months pregnant with my third baby. And I'm also the founder of The Nurtured Baby that you can find us on Instagram at the.nurturedbaby, um, where I share tips and advice during, for women for pregnancy, labor, childbirth, delivery, and postpartum. So today's video, if you cannot see by the title, is going to be what is in my at-home postpartum basket. So this is the basket I got. I got this from TJ Maxx. This basket was like $7 um, and it was enough room in, in it for me to put everything I'm going to need for my postpartum healing. So I'm having my baby at a birthing center and once I deliver the baby, I will only be there for six hours after I have the baby. So it won't be a lot of things that I'll need inside of the birthing center. Um, and I'm not sure what they give you when you're there, but um, I'm packing things in my hospital bag that, you know, just in case they don't give me, I'll have with me. So this is what I'll have at home in the bathroom. Um and some things that you might find helpful. So let's get started. So first in my postpartum basket is some always, dis sorry, heartburn, <laughs> always discreet um, adult diapers. They look like this. I got them in a size small. Um, these are very helpful. Any woman who ever used these after they've given birth will tell you that these save the day they are so much better than using the mesh underwear that they give you at the hospital um they are better than using underwear because you, you could just throw these in the trash um i absolutely love these i always use these for like the first week or so after i have the baby before like everything starts to slow down and you could just transition to underwear um also with the depends i'm going to use a always pad these are overnight ones. I think these are the like number four or something. I, I don't remember. Um, but these have the wings on them. So normally what I would do is I would take the, um, the pins and then I would put the pad inside and then I would put in a icicle pad. So I have them come in. I don't have them here, but um, I would, I'm, I'll, go, I'll link everything in the description box of what I would use. And um, I would put an icicle pad down and then I would lay some witch hazel pads on top of the icicle pad, spray some dermaplast on that and then pull it up and go. And that's how I would normally do the system, the postpartum system. <laughs> um, so speaking of the witch hazel pads, the, they're called tucks. Sorry, the box is open because I was showing what was going in like my hospital bag. They look like this. You get a whole container of it at the hospital should give you one of these tubs but because i'm not going to the hospital i'm just gonna i just bought my own because i just don't know what the birthing center is going to give me um i'll probably you know like i said i'll bring them with me to the birthing center to use i have some dermaplast i don't the hospital gives you a bottle of this as well um but i'll just have it here i don't again i don't because i don't know what the birthing center is going to give me I have some after ease drops. You just put this into water. This helps with the contractions you get after you have the baby. Some women do not know about the contractions you get after you have a baby and it kind of surprise them and it can be more painful than it than the contractions are during labor. So I have some of these drops just to drink to ease that pain. Um, of the contractions that you get after you have the baby and during breastfeeding as your uterus shrinks back down. I also have the Mother Love Sits Bath Spray. So this is um, just like Dermaplast, but it's like the organic version of Dermaplast. I heard this works better than Dermaplast as well. So it looks like that. Um, I'm going to try it out and see if I like it or not. Um, and I'll link this in the description box as well. Um, also for at home, I have a peri bottle. Mine's is kind of pearled and really pretty and yeah. Um, this is just a normal generic one that they give you at the hospital. You'll probably get one of these. The Freedom Mom kit, which is the kit that, I've, that I'm gonna get, comes with the a peri bottle that has the tube that kind of like goes like this. So when you're spraying it, it can kind of like get really in there. 
um i'm gonna test that one out i've had this is my third baby i've used this for two babies and this worked just fine um but to each his own what i will recommend is buying some type of herbal sits bath this one that i have right here i got whoops sorry this one that i have here i got this from spoiled mama um this has like epsom salt chamomile chickweed comfrey root leaf marshmallow root plantain calendula yarrow yarrow rosemary shepherd's purse golden seal and mirror in it um this is supposed to help with um stimulating blood flow and help the perineal, uh, perineal area fighting infections and things like that so um it's good for episiotomies tears hemorrhoids anything so this is like really good what what i would do with this is i would boil this um and then once i boil some of this i would strain the water into here and use that to actually spray myself with to get extra relief and extra healing um down there and that's how i'm going to use this you can also put this into actual sits bath and then actually sit in it um i'm just going to put it into here if i do want to put in some of this into a sits bath then i can do that as well um but that's how i'm going to use it especially for like that first week or maybe even longer it just depends and then like the last thing i have in here is just like some extra underwear just in case i need it um you're welcome to throw in here like some nursing type things nursing pads some nursing balm maybe you know whatever you may need during your postpartum kit and you just want easy access to you're welcome to throw that in there this is just it for me the last thing i'll probably throw into this basket like i said is some icicle pads other than that i think that would be pretty much it you can put a pump in here if you want to um maybe some motrin or some tylenol stool softener so it's already in here ready to go um but for the most part this is like a basic postpartum basket that you could just throw into your bathroom behind the toilet or on the side or underneath your sink like and just have it right and ready to go as soon as you wake up in the morning one last postpartum thing that i'm going to buy and have at home is actually the um like the <laughs> The pads that they lay down on the birthing bed after you give birth, the blue ones, I guess they're like, you know, pee sheets or something. Um, I'm going to get a pack of those and have them on my bed when I come home only because I'm really nervous about how it's going to be having my baby and then coming home six hours later so i'm just going to order one pack of those and just put those down just to sleep on or lay on or sit on just in case there is an accident i can just like tie them up and throw them away and not worry about messing up my sheets um and so that's like one extra thing that i'm gonna have it's not something you need but for those that are giving birth at a birthing center let me know if i need those in the comments below um but I'm just going to get a pack just to be, it's going to, it's going to help my mind. Um, but that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this video was helpful. Um, I hope the whole Perry bottle thing really helps you. That, that also works if you're afraid to pee after birth using that herbal, uh, uh, using those herbs and putting that into a Perry bottle while you're urinating will help soothe that as well. So I hope that is some helpful tips again. Follow me on social media, the dot nurture baby. Um, again, my name is Khadija, and I will be here sharing my journey of bringing in baby number three. We have 4.5 weeks to go, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed all of these videos. I recorded a lot today, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed them all. So thank you guys so much. Like, comment, subscribe. Goodbye.